Hey, this is Sam from Sure. In this video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate the usage of Mini Timeline, a feature in Wireless Workbench enabling you to view historical information about your channels. I'm going to paint a picture of a scenario here that I believe has happened to probably most of you if you've ever worked in a live performance or live production environment. Here's the story. You've got one or more wireless channels in use, and you are not sitting in front of the rack of wireless devices. You're not sitting in front of the computer running wireless workbench. You're either putting body packs on talent, or you're behind the mixing console, or you're eating lunch, or you're doing anything, but you're away from your system. And all of a sudden, some loud screeching hiss comes through the PA. Some really loud audio artifact that probably clipped uh, the receiver and everything else in the audio signal chain. And you rush back to the rack of wireless, or you rush back to wireless workbench, and the issue is totally gone away. Everything is steady state. This channel strip view in Wireless Workbench does a great job of showing you real-time monitoring information, but what it doesn't do is show you a brief history or anything that happened just a moment ago. And that's where I'd like to introduce this mini timeline concept. Mini timeline is a historical view of essential metering information um, everything basically that would be displayed in the channel strip, but displayed in a graphical view, cascading out of the channel strip, all within the monitor stage. So you notice about 45 seconds ago there was a loud audio event. I mean, I simulated that by smacking the grill of the handheld. But there it is. I can see there's an audio peak that clips and goes into the red on this particular ULXD channel. And this mini timeline view captured that, whereas the channel strip would not have. So this mini timeline view is uh, is basically, it's a feature in Wireless Workbench that by default is just on. It's just automatically recording all of the metered information for your sure networked channels by default. To uh, view this data, all I had to do was click this timeline checkbox for my particular channel that I wanted to see this data for. And just as I can show and hide channel strips, for particular uh, channels. I can show and hide this mini timeline view for channels as well. So how did this feature uh, get all this data? Well, the data that's being displayed in this mini timeline view is exactly the same information we were already displaying in this channel strip. You know, whether it's antenna status information corresponding to these two blue LEDs or RF level corresponding to the orange RSSI indicator. Um, an interference detection that in this case ULXD has the ability to detect from the receiver, and then audio. Um, you can see if I get real hot up on the mic, I can even clip it right here. This audio level is exactly this what this LED indication is showing, just in a more continuous fashion. So this information's always been there in Wireless Workbench, but what MIDI Timeline does is it brings a visualization of a brief, in this case, one minute history of all this data right to the monitor stage. So. Let's go through the, this scenario. Let's play back to our story again. If you rush back to the computer and you see, oh man, there was an audio event right here. I need to capture this. Um, I wasn't recording this data in timeline properly. I didn't start a timeline and record channel, uh, you know, channel information for this channel here. If I wanted to capture this information for reference later, all I would have to do is use this auto timeline function. And what that does is it adds all of the networked channels that I have online to a timeline starts recording and also, and here's the most important part, it takes whatever data was in that mini timeline buffer when I press that button and it pre-populates it at the beginning of a timeline file. So in the, oh my God, what the heck was that moment? And you rush back and see there was this heinous audio clip or a horrible uh, RF dip for whatever reason, pressing auto timeline captures that data, there's my audio clip, and preserves it in a file that can be later saved and reviewed to, uh, let's say, diagnose that audio issue or figure out why there was such a dip in one particular antenna. So this mini timeline feature, um, you know, why I explain it in this context is it's a great automatic view of channel history, but also it feeds perfectly into auto timeline or the ability to capture that information and review it later. So the only other thing I want to go through today is to show you uh, some preferences you have to configure this mini timeline capability. I mentioned uh, it was just on by default, and Wireless Workbench enables this capability when you uh, install it by default. But if you didn't want to um, enable it, you wanted to turn this feature off, you are able to just uncheck this checkbox, and that will basically not record any of this data for online uh, networked channels. The other thing you may want to do is change that span of time that uh, is automatically recorded for all channels, and that can be done here. By default, it's set to one minute, but you can set it anywhere from one to five, and uh, upon saving this change and restarting the application, that will just extend how much data is saved in this particular window. I like it at one minute, but that's just me. 
So that's a brief overview of Mini Timeline. It's a great tool to basically act as a safety net for any spurious transient events that could happen to your channels that you may want to record for later. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. If you've got any questions or comments, please be sure to leave them down below. Thanks.